yogis, welcome to part one of our cycle series. I'm Tamara from the People's Republic of Yoga and this is sticky, sweaty and Indonesia. Please forgive any noises that may occur, we're next to a busy road right now. Today's poses will be stretching rather than strengthening poses. Uh, this is in recognition of the fact that a lot of cyclists I see uh, present with tight, um, strong muscles. Typically their hamstrings from the pedaling motion are tight and strong and also the leaning forward crouched posture many of us adopt on our bicycles have uh, strengthened but also tightened our hip flexors over time. So today's practice will be about stre stretching those. Um, that is both in pursuit of the yogic principle of balance in our bodies but also to enable you as athletes to relax those muscles so that they can re-engage more powerfully in future uh, increasing your potential on the bicycle. You will need potentially a yoga strap if you don't have one of these bad boys, get yourself a bathrobe belt or anything remotely this shape that could work. If you have a yoga block, that's awesome, as in a massive bolster. Um, I don't right now, so I've grabbed a couple of pillows. Feel free to get a bunch of these. You might want more or less, but it's always good to have more props. Come to lying on your back, extending your right leg along the ground, foot flexed, toes drawing towards your face and extending your left leg up to the strap. Taking the strap around the sole of your right foot. Hold onto the strap somewhere where your shoulders can release down to the ground and your chest is broad. That might be right at the end. Let's just delete any pressure you may be experiencing about that one. Make, up, make sure here that your toes are drawing towards your face and your heel is lengthening up away from you. If this is super strong in your body, Please feel free to bend and straighten your knee as much as you need to get comfortable here. And really using the breath to teach your body that this is medicine rather than an ordeal. Now ideally I'd like you to take five breaths in this posture and if you'd like to take more, I'm a massive fan of that. Making sure to keep your lower back supported on the ground. The reason we're taking this pose lying down is so that your pelvis is supported, allowing you to stretch your hamstring without yanking on your lower back here. Moving into the next pose, take the strap into your right hand, left hand, left hip bone. Drawing that foot about 10 centimeters to the right, take your left thumb to your left hip crease and roll that left thigh down away from you towards your right foot. Engage your toes of your left foot down towards your face and extend your heel away from you. Take five breaths here. This one's a biggie in most bodies. So again, using your inhalation to just experience what's happening and your exhalation to perhaps relax a little bit into the posture. Once you've taken five breaths there, inhaling as you come back to center. Take your right hand to your hip. Left hand holds onto the strap. Inhale, rooting your right heel down to the mat. And exhale as you open your left leg a little or a lot to the left. Keep that left, those left toes reaching towards your face and your heel extended away from you. If that feels like madness in your body, um, because your hips are really, really tight and it's a lot of weight to suddenly be carrying, also feel free to simply bend your knee and draw it out to the side here, keeping your toes flexed. Inhaling as you come back to center here, coming into a piriformis stretch. So taking your right knee into your chest, rest your left outer ankle onto your knee and take a moment to choose the intensity you'd like in this pose. So, my left shin is roughly parallel to the ground right now. If that feels like a lot, you're welcome to take your uh, heel closer in towards your pubic bone. Really, whatever works in your body is all I care about today. Whichever variation you're in, make sure both your feet are flexed strongly. And now reach your hands around your right leg, holding onto either your thigh or your shin, and drawing your right knee into your chest keeping your chest broad and your shoulders down away from your ears. 
enjoying the opportunity to perhaps stretch your booty for the first time today. And if this reach feels incredibly far because your leg feels really far away, feel free to take a strap around your leg and hold onto that instead. I really don't mind what variation you're in as long as your shoulders are broad and relaxed down. Once you're done here, five breaths at least, please. Extending your right leg, draw your left knee into your chest and let's sneak in a spinal twist to give some love back to your spinal column. So rolling onto your right side, bringing your left knee towards or onto the ground. Take a moment to shuffle your bottom right hip back so that when you place your left hand on your lower back, your hips are stacked on top of each other. Right hand rests on your left thigh or knee. Inhale your left arm up and over. Coming into a spinal twist as you gaze either up at the sky or if it's comfortable, towards your left hand. This is a huge therapeutic pose, both for your spinal column, your nervous system, and a bunch of other magical details. So if possible, really take your time here, really coming back to your breath, feeling free to pause me at any point to enjoy the pose a little bit longer. And from here, inhaling, coming back to center. And now I'd like you to do all of that again on the other side. And then once that is done, coming back up to a seat, grab those pillows or any other props you have available to you, and coming into Supta Baddha Konasana or Reclined Cobbler's Pose. Taking the soles of your feet together, feel free to have your heels close to your body or further away. It will cause different effects in your hips, so just work with what feels good here. And now coming onto or towards your forearms, these are super soft, so I think they're gonna yeah, just release down. And now take a moment to just rest here. This pose is therapeutic in a lot of different ways. For your bodies in particular, I'm thinking about releasing tension in your groin, hips, chest, and shoulders. And now you're welcome to use more pillows so that your head may be resting on some at this height or if you'd like more of an intensity you can take a couple of the pillows away or if your groin is feeling super open today simply coming to lie on your back and whichever variation you're in take a moment to choose how you would like your hands either by your sides on your midline or resting on your hips And this is a passive stretch. So holding this for at least five breaths is ideal. Closing your eyes here. Resting for as long as is comfortable. Please feel free to stay here if you are happy and allow the video to just end.